Welcome back to the Forge POV, where we go beyond the headlines to uncover the insights that truly matter for startup founders, tech leaders, and entrepreneurs. I am Subrata Khan. In our previous episode, we took a deep dive into DeepSeek, a company challenging the status quo in AI through its focus on efficiency and cost reduction. We explored its potential to disrupt NVIDIA's dominance. But that raises a much larger question. Is DeepSeek an isolated case or sign of a fundamental shift in the AI landscape? That's what we are tackling today. The future of AI infrastructure. Specifically, we will break it down into three key areas. Number one, the AI compute market. Beyond DeepSeek, what's really driving this explosion in demand? Number two, NVIDIA's dominance. Can anyone truly challenge it? Or are DeepSeek and others just nibbling around the edges? Number three, the rise of alternatives. Could open source AI chips and new monetization models be the key to broader access and sustainable growth. By the end of this episode, you will have a clearer understanding of the current state of AI compute market, the factors influencing its trajectory, and some potential opportunities and challenges that lie ahead. So let's get started. First, the explosion of AI compute demand. AI compute isn't just booming. It's on a rocket trajectory, but here is what most people miss. AI is no longer just about training massive models. It is spreading everywhere. Smartphones, wearables, cars, industrial automation. AI is becoming embedded into everything. And what's really fueling this? Well, it's largely thanks to the surge in generative AI applications and large language models. These require immense computational power for training and inference. Cloud service providers like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform who now own over half of the world's AI-ready data center capacity. They are rapidly scaling up infrastructure to meet skyrocketing demand. McKinsey latest report confirms that CSPs are the primary driver of AI compute expansion, outpacing even traditional enterprises in data center investments. This isn't just a gold rush. It's a long-term transformation. Number two, current market dynamics. Can anyone really dethrone NVIDIA? Now let's talk about some of the major players in this space. Right now, NVIDIA controls about 80% of AI GPU market. And that's not just by accident. Skewda platform has over a million developers building on it, creating a significant moat against competitors. But is this dominance truly unshakable? Let's look at the numbers. In the first quarter of fiscal 2025, NVIDIA's data center segment generated 22.6 billion in revenue. Even with new players entering, like AMD and Intel, NVIDIA holds huge advantage through its access to top-tier silicon manufacturers like TSMC, which produces cutting-edge chips. That said, we are starting to see some cracks in the NVIDIA's dominance. First, there is a shift to custom AI chips. Big players like Amazon with Trinium, Google with TPUs, Microsoft with Athena, all are developing their own AI accelerators to reduce reliance on NVIDIA. Sure, they will use NVIDIA's GPU today, but they are aggressively scaling their in-house alternatives. And the big question is, could we hit a tipping point where NVIDIA's role shrinks faster than expected? Then there is CUDA. For years, NVIDIA's software ecosystem has kept enterprises locked in, but that might be changing. New AI compilers and frameworks like OpenAI's Triton, Modular's Mojo, and Intel's One API are working to break that lock-in. If they mature and adoption grows, switching costs could drop significantly, chipping away at one of NVIDIA's biggest advantages. 
here is the real bottleneck. Compute versus energy. Right now, the biggest challenge in AI isn't just about making faster chips. It's about power consumption. Training massive AI models takes an enormous amount of energy, and we are already hitting grid capacity limits. So the real question isn't just about who makes the best AI hardware. It's about who controls the energy infrastructure that powers it. Could that be where the real battle for AI dominance is headed? Despite these risks, switching away from NVIDIA isn't easy. Enterprises have poured billions into CUDA optimized AI stacks. And rewriting software or retraining models would cost millions of dollars. But history has shown that dominance in tech rarely lasts forever. The question is how quickly these shifts will play out. Here is a contrarian take. What if NVIDIA actually benefits from the rise of custom AI chips instead of being disrupted by them? Think about it. These new chips will still need three critical things. Broad software compatibility, advanced AI model optimizations, and a thriving developer ecosystem. And guess who already has all that locked in is NVIDIA. CUDA has been the foundation of AI development for years, with millions of developers building and optimizing models specifically for NVIDIA hardware. So even as the hardware landscape shifts, NVIDIA might not lose its dominance. It could evolve into the backbone of AI innovation, providing the software tools, expertise that power, no matter what chips is underneath. Number three, the rise of custom AI chips and smarter monetization models. Now, this is where things get really interesting. NVIDIA may still be leading, but we are seeing a shift. Custom AI chips are on the rise and companies are rethinking how AI compute is monetized. Big tech is making moves. Google, Amazon, Microsoft, all are designing their own AI chips to reduce reliance on NVIDIA. These aren't full replacement yet, but they're a definite step towards breaking NVIDIA's monopoly. Then you got startups like Grok and Tenstorrent, which are flipping the scripts. Instead of just crashing raw compute power, they're focused on efficiency, building AI accelerators that do more with less. And here is a real game changer, AI compute marketplace. Take DeepSeek, for example. They optimize models to run cheaper AU instead of high-end H100s. And that shift towards leaner, more efficient AI models that can work across different hardware. If this trend accelerates, we might see an entire AI model as a service market emerge where the real competition isn't about who has the biggest GPU, but who can deliver the smartest, most efficient AI models. Number four, the bigger bottleneck, energy and compute supply. But hold on, there's a bigger problem than compute power itself. What's the next big bottleneck in AI's future? Is energy supply. Right now, AI compute demand is skyrocketing. By 2030, AI workloads could consume more energy than entire countries. For instance, in the United States, estimates suggest that AI workloads could require approximately 600 terawatts hour of electricity by 2030, up from 147 terawatt hour in 2023. That's a massive jump. Goldman Sachs projects 160% increase in data center demand by 2030, with data centers expected to consume as much as 4% of 
of all energy generated by that tank. This isn't just a small bump. It represents significant shift in how we think about energy consumption. So who solves this? Real game changer might not just be the chip makers, but companies investing in nuclear, fusion, and alternate energy sources. Without breakthrough in energy solutions, AI growth could hit a wall. Let me ask you this. While we are excited about the next generation of chips, should we be focusing more on where power is going to come from? Let's take a moment to think about that. Fifth, open source AI chips, a game changer or a hype? Now, here comes another fascinating topic. Could open source AI hardware disrupt the market? DeepSeek is disrupting the market by open sourcing some of its AI technology, similar to what Linux did for software. One huge advantage, DeepSeek's DBRX model is more than order of magnitude, approximately 20 to 30 times cheaper than OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo, offering huge cost savings. But here is a catch. Adoption is the key. Without big backers like Google or Microsoft behind them, it's hard for open source solutions to gain traction in the market dominated by established players like NVIDIA. So could open source AI chips change the game? Maybe, but it will take years to break in NVIDIA's stronghold and achieve widespread adoption. So let me sum up for you. Where are we headed? The AI chip market is growing at explosive rate while demand surges. But here is what you need to know. Energy supply could be a real bottleneck that stops AI growth. Number two, custom AI chips are emerging alongside innovative monetization models that could change industry dynamics. Number three, while NVIDIA may still be leading the change, the future of AI compute isn't just about who has the best chip. It's about building efficient, sustainable ecosystem around these models. And number four, open source solutions may offer an alternative path, but will need significant backing and adoption to challenge established players effectively. That's what makes this space so exciting. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Forge POV. If any of these insights resonated with you, don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts with others. Your support helps me continue creating insightful, meaningful content that drives new ideas and solutions. See you next time on the Force POV. Bye for now.